Welcome to the Arrest Show once again on Andy DTV. I would first of all like to express my condolence to the family of the former UN Secretary General, that is Kofi Annan. We were saddened by the news today that he has passed away at the age of 80. God bless his soul. May he rest in perfect peace. Today we continue uh, with our segment on the uh, revelation of the coup um, within uh, 1979 uprising up to um, when uh, the PNDC um, government wa wa was formed. Today we sit with an influential man, a man who served our beloved country, Ghana, for 27 good years. He was uh, W01 in his rank in the military, and he saw everything from the revolution to the uprising to some of the atrocities. And we are not going to forget the matter of the three judges and the former major. It is none other than Mr. Felix Archer Darko. So welcome to Andy D T V and welcome to the other the hour show. Thank you. Okay. Um Mr. Archer, um could you tell us when you joined the army? Oh I joined the army in Tamale, Armed Forces Recruit Training Centre, AFRA, nineteen seventy six. Nineteen seventy six. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. That's a very long time. And I was released honorably from the service in 2003. Wow. Yeah. That's a long way coming. So when we say WO1, what does it stand for? Because that was your rank in the army. Yeah, warrant officer class one. Okay. That's purposely for those in the trade unit. Okay. But if you are in the infantry, okay. uh, it's, we have WO2. Sergeant Major, right. then you go to RS and Regimental Sergeant Major. Okay. And that is in the infantry. Okay. So I learned within your department, yeah. you were probably the highest rank. You held yeah, the highest rank. Yeah, that's the other rank. Okay. The other rank okay. is from private soldier to W1. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sure you were, you were around during the inception of... Um, probably the first attempt. Uh, uh, first of all, how, how did you ever meet Rollins and how did you meet him? Oh, I met Rollins about three times. For my unit from 37 right. to Burma camp. Okay. So early, when I'm on duty, yeah. I do stand at former military police, uh, the office. Okay. And Rollins too will come from cantonments. So one day he read there, I saluted him. Mm -hmm. Then he make his hand like this, that I should come. Mm -hmm. When I went, he said, Who am I going? I said, I'm going to Burma camp. He picked me, then he went. The next time to the same thing. Then he, he asked of my name, mm -hmm. and then I called. The third time, he sent me to Chiringa Barras, mm -hmm. where I was living, that is in headquarters. Okay. That was somewhere April. Okay. I didn't hear of him till the 15th May when the uprising, he went in for the uprising. Okay. Then I was asking my friend, who is that? And he told me, that's your friend who has been picking you. Okay. He's the one who is trying that. I said, okay. oh. So from there, this man, they sent him to court martial. He was arrested and sent mm. to BNI. Okay. Sent him to Kotomaza. And we were going to the Kotomaza, we were going there. On the 31st of uh, May 1979, Bema Hora was there. Okay. As so many soldiers too, because the man was attracting we the soldiers. So we all went there. So what? How was, how was he attracting all of you? I mean, how he was talking at the uh, Kotomaza. Okay. I mean, we realized that this man. If you follow him, I mean, he will take you to a good place. Or if he's your leader, it will be... Okay, so if, if, uh, if I'm correct with this, he attempted a coup in 1979. 1979, 15th May. That, that is the first... The okay, yeah. right. So uh, when it was, was it wasn't uns it was unsuccessful, and it that is when they, they took him to the marshal. That's why he okay. sent him to the court marshal. Right. And the uh, Kenanifo was late. Kenanifo, he was the 
chairman of the quartermaster. Okay. So he came out to say, leave my man alone. He is responsible for that sin. So this you leave his men whom he picked to state the, his the, school at the 15th uprising. Okay. So you say, hey, this man is very powerful. Okay. Yeah. There was first, 31st Thursday, Friday, first, uh, second Saturday. Now when you go to Burma camp, you see people standing in groups, groups, groups. But no way, even a friend of mine, he called me and told me, Kojiri uh, is what is going to happen. So we want uh, something from your end, if you can get men or anything of our plans. I told, I told him that, in fact, my place we can't get. Okay, so w these guys had approached you? They approached me. I was for for them. weapons? Uh, if I can get any assistance. So that you can assist them with the yeah, weapons? or okay. any other thing. To do what? To say the coup to release Rollins. Rollins from okay. Who who were those people? In fact, he, told, he warned me today that I should oh, mention their name. But but uh, this we could were, be. We were three. One called Agualagwe, okay. formerly of five years. Anybody called Agualagwe. Uh, okay. Obidoba. Okay. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and one guy, I won't call his name. Okay. He is this. I talked to him this afternoon. All right. So. From there, that man try another place again. Then he warned me not if I can get all oh, what he asked me. Yeah. He I shouldn't tell anybody. anybody about it. Okay. So my cousin too was staying at a um, recce. Mm -hmm. Sunday I went to recce. He's mm -hmm. dead. Okay. That my cousin is dead. Okay. Say, hey, Kojo, something is going to happen. So you are the same quarters. You people are not uh, have, uh, living at a good place. So when you sleep. Don't sleep on your bed, sleep on the floor because it was that building was plywood. Okay. So the this thing was uh, blocks, then they put the plywood on top. I said, ah, what is going to happen? Was you wait? He that man from Reiki. So in the night about mm, eleven getting to twelve we heard pom 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 pom. And I was in singing contest with my friends. So when I came, I told them that here you are, but something is going to happen this night. Some of them threw me away. Oh, what if I will take your matter away? I said, Are you wait. Before I realized, boom, boom, then they said, Hey, what you said? I said, Let's put the light off. So we switched off the light. There is a plywood building. The one I went to was a classroom. So how were there? A certain man came from 5 a.m. We knew the man. He was calling you a giant. He's present. Go, 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 go. What are you? What are you people? What are you coming? Everybody out. Everybody out. Then we kept quiet, slept on the floor as I told them. The man stood out and he said, No, this place is a school building. So let's go to the other. That's when four empty battalions, they were training some recruits. Mm -hmm. So they went and shook all the recruits, my 10 to 5 a.m. Then they armed them to go and fight in the night. From there, those soldiers went to 5 p.m., went and took, uh, collected their mini, uh, uh, weapons from mm -hmm. the gas. Mm -hmm. Then they went to the armory, broke the armory. That was where every, everything started. So that, that was 3rd to 4th. Okay. 4th June. 4th June, okay. So the early morning we had Runners in the air. That's when our people have gone to release mm -hmm. him. Yeah. That he has taken over the country. Yeah. But I understand most people were, I mean, uh, of the impression that Rollins was not even aware that he was he going to He wasn't be... aware. Okay. He wasn't aware. Even when they were waiting for him from the, that place, eh, the BNR, right. they even exchanged fire. Right. So he tossed, he knew that that fourth. He will go back to the court master. So when they were pulling him, when they were trying to bring him, him out, of the he prison. thought he was going to send to a different place. Oh, okay. So he rather didn't want to come. Come out. Before some of the boys called him, sir, this is me, we are, we are come to lead to so and so. 
I said, are you sure? I said, you all this thing. Then he got to know that they are in, their, in his age. Right. Then they release him <laughs> and they sit away, they send him to. So we, the young soldiers by then, been three years in the army, were very active, going up and down, doing the following time. Wow. Yes. So I understand this, I'm sure, I mean, I, I, I've not heard the name of Wachijan and all that, but he was probably behind that 4th June thing. What? Now, yeah. Ah, you go. Yeah. You go. I, I'm sure because we've heard from sources that the, the is it not, R, RFAC or something? AFRC. RC. AFRC. Right. Uh, uh, that, Revolution Council. Right. Was this, did it start with Bwachijan and the rest? What happened was, uh, Bwachijan himself, that fourth night, he wasn't there. Okay. It was one captain, he's late, he was a brigadier before he died about two, three, four years ago. Okay. Mensa. All right. He, when we were at the training center, he was, we called him recruit father. Mm -hmm. Any time the instructors were beating us, that officer, mm -hmm. well, then captain, he came to take, I mean, stop the instructors not to beat us. Okay. So we took him as our father. So we were always calling him recruit father, recruit father. So one of the boys, he was the duty officer that night. Mm -hmm. One of the boys approached him. Sir, this we want this Amori Kiko mm -hmm. They say, is this you aware? Mm -hmm. Then they say, he's aware. Then one to try to threaten him. All right. One of them tried to threaten him. So he released the key to them. That they use it for to the Amori and open everything. And he rather they wanted him to be a leader. Of that revolutionary council. Yes. And he okay. said he can't do. Okay. Why didn't the the very people who go well inside I mean, all of you got attracted to the fact that he was a good speaker, um, yeah. I, I, what, what, why could, why did you all wanted him to be a sort of a leader? What was so special you, about you him? You see, me as I'm saying, I just sat with him in his car, right, on his actions and others, but he didn't talk as he started talking when the coup happened. But at the Burma Hall, he was very vocal. Right. Any question. Or anything. That's why he was having the lawyer uh, Chikata or so. Right. But what, how he came by saying he should leave his men alone and he is responsible. Mm -hmm. That make we the suggest put our trust in him. In him. So that very uh, faithful day, which was the 4th of June, by 6 o'clock, when he made the announcement, he said, The man, the man, the man. So everybody, we the suggest. And the Air Force people, because he was the Air Force person there, everybody who was not trying to come out, didn't know what was happening, went in for weapon. I uh, went into uh, how the uh, Odate and others, they saved a champion, and the Kufu became a president, uh, this thing, the head of state. Most of the soldiers didn't like. That is one thing. Okay. Because the way he was with a champion, and another death, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. the champion had, I think, he had a fracture. He was climbing the house. Mm -hmm. So he missed a step. So he had a fracture. He stayed home for about two weeks. A champion didn't go to work that time. But the, the very day he went to work, that was the very day uh, that the okay. they surrounded the champion and released the champion from his post. So all the soldiers, as the Kufu was on the throne, they didn't like him. Okay. They didn't like him. And they were saying he was collecting 10,000 uh, 10, CDs as operation allowance. Okay. Um, Which was huge at that, at that time. It, yeah, it was a lot of money. money. But, yeah, being the head of state. I mean, how do you push somebody out and go in for this? And the champion, too, was a 5 million 5 million personnel. He was the commanding officer of 5 million. Okay. Then later, he was one brigade commander. So all the five million soldiers, they lack a champion. That is one thing. So when this man came to the throne and these people want to overthrow him, all the soldiers supported him. Go remember that time when they were after this man, he went to one 
uh, also for in house to seek a uh, reason there. Who are but Akufu? The, Akufu. Akufu. Okay. But the soldiers managed to go in for him. Then they sent him to the girl room. That was it. Wow. At the time, was it because there was um, because there were a lot of coup happening at the time? I mean, from um, you know all, all the rest up to a champon, then a champon to a kufu, a kufu to you know uh, liman, liman to Rollins. I mean, um, what was the, the main reason? Do you think it could have so caused all those it, unnecessary? I can speak up to what they call fourth June, right? But. 31st, I was, I was in Kumasi by then. Okay. I was in... But how but, was the country... Uh, in, for the, in fact, we were facing uh, difficulties and others financially. Okay. I mean, the economy, if you go to market and others, and we suggest to... Even by that time, so we would go to Hermes. You have to buy it from Makola. Hermes, so many items. Young soldiers who have passed out from a recruit from training center. You want to wear a bucket and everything. When you go, you can't get some. Unless you go to Makola. When you go to Makola, too, the women, they know they recruit, the soldiers will come. They urinate inside the chamber, put, put it by them under their tables. When we are going, we we'll go with our raffle sling. I'll go and pick this bucket. He says, so I said, this is the control price. Before the soldier buy, soldier buy, then they start to start throw the this thing. You, you, you know. Yes, what does? Then we to use our raffle sling by then. We go about 10, so something. Then before we realize this man will be coming, they will. So that all brought all these things. All brought these things. Those things are GNTC, they will send it to Makota. When you go there, cloth everything. So oh, that brought all these things. Wow. Uh, uh, my, uh, so, well, so after, to tell us more about, after he was released, um, the inception of Liman into power, uh, uh, what That's happened what after that? After Rollins, you see, Rollins, uh, AFRC, was not more than four months. Okay. Then Rollins handed over to Liman. Right. Like I'm saying, he didn't know anything about the coup. So there was a pressure from some police, from the soldiers. All right. So anybody at all can do whatever. It wasn't Rollins who asked soldiers to beat women. All That's right. one thing. Okay. We, you know a soldier goes to the village, look how he will misbehave. Mm -hmm. When he, he, he drinks something small or he smokes, that time, the, this Rollins man or the, our superior officers, they are not there. Mm -hmm. But he used, he wants people to know that what? He's a soldier. That brought all this thing. They say they are beating people at uh, this place. Uh, they are beating women, they laid them before they are not there. But Rollins by then was at the office. We, the soldiers, we, the soldiers, we misbehave, excuse me, by then. I don't know a friend of mine, she was a, a regional minister. This, uh, this man was. DC, and they give them the post and go and say for the uh, the district and others. So most of them were acting on their own. You follow what I mean? Right. So what is the truth? Because Rollins was the head, head of, of this state. Thing, they just pushed all the blames on him. So when the Nakuru came out, he resisted soldiers from so many things. That was why the discipline tried to come back. The, the student tried to come back. When did not when those there was indiscipline. Everybody took the this thing into his own hands. hands yes. yes. So they beating people. But would, wouldn't you agree that maybe Rollins wasn't equipped to lead the country at the time? Because he was the commander. He wasn't not equipped. That's why I'm saying that mm. he was at the BNI. And, I, and he was we for, for him. For him. So, so he was more or less a trophy yeah, chairman. Yes, yes. Right. Yes, people, they killed another. We, the soldiers, were behind. Let the prophet, well, let the prophet, while he was at his office doing uh, the whole country's job. But the, the problem most people don't understand is he comes around, talks about things as if <laughs> he was the one in charge of everything at the time. But he was in charge, but uh, like I'm saying, yeah. he was in charge. 
but not all of us were follow what she was saying. Right. So he was a weak leader in this oh, in certain way. He wasn't weak as such. I said, that's what I'm saying. You imagine a soldier goes to the village. Look at how he do to the village. The village self, chief self, if he doesn't take care, he will beat the soldier will beat you and go free. Those days. Would would you say that you soldiers probably most were, of us were disciplined? Most so of us okay. were disciplined. Right. I rose from private soldier to the rank of warrant officer class one. If you are in the service, you know that most of we the soldiers, they are not disciplined. That is one thing. So the revolution came and they took that into, in addition to that. Mm -hmm. Already the person is a soldier, yeah. is not disciplined, mm -hmm. and he's in the revolution. So imagine what will happen. This is what I'm saying. Right. I'm talking from experience. Right. Because I was with so many. I, I met people in the my seniors in the army. I didn't do them so. I wasn't charged throughout my 27 years service in the military, but I charged so many people. Even in, back in Rwanda, mm -hmm. I charged somebody. He was begging. I said, I will never go to Central. You say you won't go, and he was going to drink. Why were we at <laughs> war front? So I charged him, but then late Major Glow was there. You see, these are some of the things. So it's not, I don't sometimes push the blame on, you see? Yeah. People were killing people in the places. Would you, would you put the blame on the very people that released Rollins? The people that met you, wanted to convince you oh, to? You see, somebody was behind. You see, those people who went to release Rollins, they planned. They plan, not that they plan to come and kill or to come and do anything. To take over? Yes, yeah, to take because what was going on by then. And I uh, first told you what Rollins, uh, how he impressed us, mm. impressed us at uh, Burma Hall. So it was, more, it was more or less that uh, he was, you guys were then fond of a positive speech person. Because for, for, I mean, for the very people that, you know, try to encourage you to be involved with the equipment and all that, and you refuse, which I think it was a, a good decision to have taken, because then they were getting into a battle or some governance they didn't even know about. They didn't even know how to govern. Uh, you see, one thing we feed the other runs here. Eh? That's why the officers laugh at us. <laughs> you people, when you go and stay the cruise, eh? you can't write, you can't read. So we we'll do every administration for you. Okay. So you have to follow them. That's what I'm saying. Officer will never do what we, the other rank, were doing during that time. But the other rank, somebody sometimes, JS says, no, middle school self, he couldn't get a certificate. He doesn't know what is going on. You see that thing? Yeah. So we just take the law into his own hands. So many people, so many friends. And then you can you see that the person is totally irritated. He doesn't discipline others. When he was at training, that was why I mean, he complied with the discipline and what and what. And also when he came to the barracks, right, at the military distance, there, thereby to when the sergeant tell the private soldier this, he will do. But let him go out. Mm -hmm. You see how he will misbehave. Even recently, if you have been hearing, these soldiers go and beat these people here. Look at Kumasi sometimes ago, about two, three, four months. A soldier beat a woman. A soldier beat a woman. Did you hear all this? Yeah, but what, 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 when it happens that way, I'm sure during the revolution, it was very difficult for you guys to control. That's it, government. because everybody was holding a weapon. All right. So to approach and tell him the right thing was the problem. Everybody was holding a weapon. People sleep with the, their weapons in their houses. Fully charged, ammunition inside. Sometimes we press the trigger, already charged. You will kill. Wow. Well, that was all. Somebody you can stand at my call, like, oh, 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 oh. That, that time there wasn't any. So when they put the blame on the this thing, sometimes me I don't believe. That's it. But the man seemed not to want to come out and actually tell what actually happened. He, you know, because he could be the head of state and say, "Look, 
uh, you know, I was released unaware. I, I assume position. That's and why it never happened. You see, you see, yeah, I'm here. Right. But see, monkey put it by his eyes. He okay. wanted to say. Right. So from Copra, last couple, you go to this. Right. So the general or whoever, it shouldn't come as far back to the last couple and give him instruction. It's a chain of command which follows. Oh, okay. So if he's there, the next person and the next person who should go about all these things. So if you, the NCOs, senior NCOs, you don't discipline the NCOs, senior NCOs, sergeant, staff sergeants, the blues, junior NCOs, corporals and below, if you don't instill discipline in them, I mean, the whole thing just go like that. That is how it is. That is quite different to hear. <laughs> it's quite different. So he is, he is in charge, and everybody working under him, they are also doing their own different things. So who is to instill that di 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 this, discipline? This, this is what I'm saying, that in the military, right. that is private soldier, last couple, couple, sergeant, staff sergeant, look at all these ranks. So last couple is above the private soldier. Right. So if a private soldier is doing something which is wrong, the last couple, you see, the double will see, but he will make himself as if he hasn't seen. So he wants you, the last couple, to discipline you are a private soldier. Do you understand what I mean? Right. That's how it goes. So be him a uh, rolling saw, be him the general, or what and what. I mean, this is a thing that's above them. Even back to your village self. Or if you can't go to continue, you see, everything is just step by step. That's how it goes. So sometimes me, I will defend him. We soldiers were in discipline. We were in discipline those days. I say you fear your fellow soldier. Everyone says we have a weapon. That's why the man I think he handed over quick, then found his way. Then later when he came back, but that time I wasn't there. You see, you see what I'm that's why the time was three months, because he saw the pressure was too great on him. So he better, he sit back, hand over with those people he was, then come back again. That's all what happened to him. So for the 4th of June and others, we all we fear each other. We all fear each other. So then would you, would you say that you suggest were then the corrupt ones, not the, I mean, sure, the, the Lehman, the Champon, the, all the, the head of states, most of you guys label them as corrupt. Uh, but but then you, were more, you, you guys were more even corrupt than, because you assume, <laughs> you assume government and you know, you I'm know that. I'm talking about the bullying. What, that, that, that means there was no discipline in the military. Oh, I want the lie. That's what I'm saying because everybody was holding weapon. Everybody was holding weapon. You see? Look at somebody, I don't want to mention names as I'm saying. <laughs> a soldier arrested the soldier, he was bringing him to the palace to be disciplined. Eh? Right. Both of them were holding weapon. The soldier who went for the arrest came out from the taxi. The one behind, I don't know what happened. You seven rounds on the soldier. Kuku kuku. That's all. The taxi driver just moved. You see? Because everybody fear each other. Everybody. But all what I know is when you take your weapon in the morning, you go and sign. If you are to go to a place you need ammunition, they wish it to you. And coming back, even you declare yourself, just as we do it at the range. Okay. I have no large friend or no ammunition in my possession. You see? But that time, all this. Those things were not there. So everybody was in his own. Well, a country in jeopardy. We take a short break and when we come back, we speak more. Thank you. Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to a resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D. Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration 
nationality, European Union and human right law, adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation and so on up to date has been broken and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law locally in London and across the borders in Ghana where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. Welcome back again. Um, the murder of the three judges and the mayor. What do you know about it? Uh, for that matter, it happened after 31st. Okay. By 31st, I was by then in Kumasi. Right. And again, during that time, the judges and what were made, I was in Lebanon. Right. That was, I left in Lebanon 10th May 1982, spent about nine months. So I was there, then I heard that some judges and what I want. I only came back and uh, there was an exercise at a Bondasi. Right. They, they show us where they said they burned them and all that. Is. Yeah. But it was about one and a half years ago. So for that matter, yeah, I'm done with the judges issue. What about the major? What, 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 what major? Who's major? The, there was a major who was also killed among. Hey, that's what I'm yeah. saying. They, together, uh, he was there. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure when you came back from Lebanon over a year, you would have had so many. I mean, you, you were still in the army when you went to Lebanon, right? Oh, but it is the army who sent me to Lebanon on UN ticket. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you were still not. You didn't no, hear no, anything? I, I, what I heard is some judges have been killed. With my major so and so, Aqua. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, I've forgotten that issue at all. Forgot, mm. I heard it. I heard it. But in fact, I don't know how it came by. It is one of the difficult, dangerous areas for any. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't in Ghana. Like, right. Uh, but you, you sure would have heard something. But uh, for, to hear from somebody. Oh, what I'm telling you about four June matter, I was there. You witnessed it? Yes. Right. When we were firing, I was going through Congo Johnson when uh, by then uh, Major General Odati Wellington, right. he pointed weapon at me. Then I saluted him. Then the driver who was driving the Muwak, I mm. called his name. Like not that, I wouldn't have assisted by now. Because when he went for it, he fired at some people. That's why the people chased him. When he for you know Congo Junction, when he went to Burma Camp and others. Okay. Fortunately, from my side, I saluted him. I called the driver's name. Go slow. He was a recce person, and I was always praying, drinking with recce people. My okay. brothers were there. Right. So the guy knows me, and he to with me. That's why the man left me. Not knowing by then, some of my mates, may he rest in peace, Said Bedu was in the Moak. Said Bedu? Yeah, he was my mate. He died that long time. He was in the Moak. So they passed through uh, Ministry of Defense, then to what they call uh, Labadi, mm -hmm. then to where they saw that the people were chasing them. Then these boys managed to run away from the Mowak, mm -hmm. and that is where Odati was killed at the uh, Nima police station. That was the time Odati was killed at the Nima police station. And some of my mates, they brought Odati cap and it's what they call, the sword, to my police. Then it's now in the Kumasi Museum. So that was that. For, 30, for 4th June, I know much about that. But Do you know someone called Feli? Feli. Yeah. Oh, he was a Shambon's foreign minister. Signal officer, Kenneth Feli. So what, what? Kali Feli. Right. Yeah. So what happened to him? Was it also in the session of that? Is he Feli? As I know what I'm saying is, 
uh, one of my cousin who was about to mind to the man. So I was even going to the house. Foreign minister, he was a signal officer. Right. So when the champion came to the throne, he used him to be his foreign at this time. He was going up and down like normal foreign ministers have been doing. Right. So that was his job. So it took him as one of the, I mean, the big men. He was within the Supreme Military Council also. Yeah. So fully, fully all along was the foreign minister. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, you were honorably discharged from the military yeah. in 2007. Do, uh, do you still... 2003. 2003. Yeah, right. Do, sorry. Do you still receive your, your pension? I, well, that's really the <laughs> issue you are talking about. Yeah. Yes. Everybody, a soldier, after you have served your service, you are entitled to... to Okay. Yeah. So explain to us how, how does it work? Because it is of, you know, most people even think that pension system doesn't even exist in Ghana. Oh, but the teachers and others, oh, they, 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 they collect their pension. My brother is a teacher. He collects every month. My brother was a teacher. He collects every month. So you, you are in Europe. So, you know, how, how do they do the head count? How do they know you're still alive and therefore... Oh, what is happening is just right. recently... There was a head count from an uh, Auditor General Department. Mm -hmm. So we are called to the Ghana High Commission. So he processed everything and they signed it to. In fact, uh, that meant our pay didn't come. And they said uh, there was a head count. So among themselves, we got to know them. We rushed to the place. They gave us the form, two passport photograph, and everything. Yeah. But during uh, uh, 2012 to 2013, almost I managed to get my money. Some didn't get up right. to now. One year pay, they forfeited the pay. 2012 to 2013, from the soldiers uh, within uh, outside Ghana, mm -hmm. they never got their pay. Later on, and I, try, I tried, and I got mine. Some got, some didn't get. Do you think it's, I mean, how do they corroborate all these evidences, the information, the people they said they were in the military then? Because so many coups that have been staged, probably lots of documentation. How do you... Uh, that, you know, that, that is there. Okay. And everybody has got his discharge book, discharge number, everything. And right. my bank. And when I was coming to this country in 2003, right. I gave authority note to my wife, mm. copy to, but then to my former, uh, what they call, unit. All right. Then copy to the bank. And I sometimes talk to the bank manager. Okay. Yeah. So my wife, my 15 years here, my wife takes my pay. Right. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? But, yeah. but then you also mentioned, I think I heard about wives getting also oh, some sort one. of incentives. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, but it's so at uh, these countries and everything all. Okay. Yeah, it's not Ghana alone. Oh. You see, in a recognized countries like only those uh, countries uh, with Fuku, uh, Liberia, others I can, uh, can't see. You mean, you can see who, when you go to the bank, you see this woman with uh, those Mayan fees, those old ladies. Okay. They hold sex, go and sit by the bank. It is Second World War, they are, they are husbands. <laughs> really? that they are collecting. Yes. Okay. They collect, I think you will give me one third of your pay when you, you the wife, die. You, the soldier, you are, when you come on pension, so, yeah. okay. they, you are giving one third of your pay. And when you die too, your wife will take one third of your pay till she dies. Oh, okay. That is how it is. No, it's not new. I went to Lebanon three times. Rwanda, I was there. Liberia. Disarmament and what and what. Lucky man didn't die. There was a time in Liberia, helicopter. This rebels fired the helicopter. And the next night, the next day, I have to come for rushing from Cape Palmas to Morovia. It's longer from Ghana 
Kipamas uh, 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 to Accra is shorter than Kipamas to Morovia. You see, the Morovia has, Liberia has got the longest uh, sea, what they call it? Stretch. Stretch. Okay. And I was in this helicopter. That night, they, they fired helicopter. And that morning, I was also going to imagine all these things. If they fire you straight to the sea, huh? You've seen a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> In Rwanda, we were going for for this thing. What do you call? Some back. Right. To fortify our defense. Before we duck, the place was okay. So ah, what is that? Not knowing human being, they have but quickly we covered it. You go there, you see human being the train soldier with the leg inside the boot, or oh, you can't stay. So we deserve that thing. We deserve to take our pay. Not that we, we, we joke there. Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to and resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D. Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human rights law, adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation and so on up to date has been broken and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law locally in London and across the borders in Ghana where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. You are, you are indeed a, a, a hero. Uh, in terms of the Ghana military at the moment, what, what's your take on them? Do you think uh, you know, we have a, a more disciplined uh, oh, military now? Oh, this is what I'm saying. That's now the discipline is there. Hmm. You see, I told you, when the revolution came, weapons scattered. There wasn't any control. Look at this AK-47. It wasn't, in, it is not Ghana Army weapon. Okay. I'm telling you, because I'm a strong man by profession. I was asked to take inventory of all these weapons during a major general time here with some officers. That was the time these people were doing this thing. They said soldiers were giving arms to arm robbers to it. I, I was the auditor myself, the storekeeper. I drew the specimen this thing for the whole Ghana army. We checked arms and ammunition. AK-47 wasn't in the system. It is not a standard weapon. It was issued to 64 people by then. Ghana Army weapon was G3. First it was SLR, SMG. You see, that's the personal weapon we were using. So these weapons go to, went to so many people's hands. That brought all this in discipline. You see, when somebody takes the AK-47, and again, when these Morovia, Liberia people were coming, they too came with some. They too came. So when we were doing the other thing, we see AK-47, we neglected. Because it was not in Army uh, standard distance weapons, Ghana Army standard distance. That's why it got to wrong hands. Now most of this distance came from Ivory Coast that the armed robbers are using. Mm -hmm. Those crews, they came and sold it to them from Ivory Coast, the nearby countries. Because when just like uh, Lebanon, eh? when Palestinians went to go to other side with a weapon, you wouldn't know how he would go with the weapon. He would strip everything. This is brother who hold the muzzle. This will hold the bat. He just will hold. When they reach there, it becomes a complete weapon. 
So if you are not, you don't know anything about that, you will leave the person to go free. You see the thing? Mm -hmm. You leave the person, before they reach the other end, it they becomes a weapon. weapon. Then they can face whatever they want to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know the the the, the intelligence behind you, you know a lot of you that have now retired. Um, do you think it's ever going to be needed? Because like you are, you know, because still there is a whole lot of um, robbery taking place in in Ghana. A whole lot of people having access to these weapons. Um, but it looks like most of you guys have probably been neglected. They don't really call you guys to have in putting in the governance now. You see, you see, that's why, you see, now I'm also here because yeah. I can't survive in Ghana. Right. Not that because of my children, I have to find a good place for them. Right. And again, they need assistance. These boys who are right now on the, we soldiers, they don't go in. You see, all what is happening this day, mm -hmm. see, you don't hear from the soldiers and that they are doing all this and that. But this time, the civilian population have managed to get weapons from, you see, the other countries. They know the Ivory Coast people brought AK-47. They know Liberia, if you go to their camp, you will get so and so. You see, when they came, you should have checked them well before they entered the country. But because uh, we felt lenient for them that they are suffering, then we left them in. Right. Some work can take a, a full gary bag, put a weapon inside. Oh, you, you touch it, touch it. Oh, it's gary. Go. You see that thing? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that has brought all these things. That has brought all these things. So the boys today they need money. They want to become rich quick. Look at how I work for I mean, 27 years. I'm here for 15. 27 plus 15. How many? 42. Stay working. You see? What God created me that I should work throughout my life. At this age, 65, I'm going. See, doing security job, going up and up. This is my security test. <laughs> so, you see, <laughs> but it's okay for me. Where God has put me, I like it. Yeah. Where God has put me, I like it. That's great. Yeah. Well, I, I think you all need to be celebrated when you are alive, um, because it's quite important. I think we tend to forget our servicemen, people who have served our country, the country we speak so prof profoundly of. Uh, we forget you guys, and I think you all deserve uh, respect. You all deserve to be honored, yeah. um, remembered, and like you said, you know, the, the government should look into your pay, uh, you know, the pension system, yeah. your, the way you guys are living now. And to make sure that the you know we, the the youth also learn and you know implement it in the structure of governance in the future. But first of all, I would like to say a big thank you for your time today. I know I've taken most of it, <laughs> but I'll say thank you very much. <laughs> thank I'm, you I'm, too. I'm I'm highly, 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 highly favored uh, to have you with me today. Okay. All right. Very so good. yeah, I think this is where time will bring us today. I would like to say thank you for watching. And remember, you can always watch some of our programs on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. And remember to subscribe and also share with your friends and also leave a feedback. You are always welcome to call us, send us an email, and give us your own thoughts and your views. So we'd like to say a big thank you all for watching. Stay tuned with Andy TV, And once again, it's the Hour Show. Goodbye.